The world, what's in it, and the people who live on it comprise such a huge mass of places, things, and accomplishments to experience that you'll never be able to see even 1% of it. Even just meeting people in real life, if you were dedicated and met hundreds of people per day, will still amount to maybe a couple million during the course of your lifetime, which amounts to way less than even 1% of the population. It's even more dismal with places. Even being able to view Earth as an ethereal demigod by looking at it through Google Earth, seeing a close-up view of the terrain of the entire planet if you dedicated all your life to it wouldn't even amount to a significant portion of the whole thing. I've never understood boredom for this reason. There's an infinite amount of activities, people, conversations, things, and places to engage with and we have a very finite lifespan in comparison. We gotta do it all. Chop chop. Come on. Time is ticking. You're gonna die and we have an infinite number of things to do. This channel hopefully brings us one step closer to knowing the compendium of Total Earth content per video, and today's thing we're going to explore is insane beyond belief. But before we do, a quick word from our sponsor, me. I started an Instagram. I'm not really posting anything Minecrafty on there, but I'm slowly becoming more insane and you can watch the train wreck there instead of people pretending that they're not. The goal is to get 69,420 followers. If and when we reach that goal, I will private the account preventing anyone else from following me. So if you want to be part of the 69,420, the link is in the description. On the last episode of Dragon Ball Z, we managed to find the largest city in Minecraft, larger than any individual city in Build the Earth, though New York gives it a run for its money. But thanks to all of your support on that first video, people flooded into the Discord to the point where they had to restructure the channels. New builders and patrons signed up and progress and activity took a sprint. The long-term effects of this are actually yet to be determined, but what happened this month is a huge moment in Greenfield's history. Greenfield just doubled in size. An update that builders have been working on for several years just went live. They added an additional 80 to 90 percent of Greenfield's previous update's mass to the total. Now I have a confession to make. Producing the cinematic shots of my city in the previous video made my computer shit itself. It was just an insane journey to make my goal of loading the entire city work, but we did it. I don't know how I'm gonna load double that size, but depending on what you're seeing right now, I may or may not have been successful in that endeavor. But what exactly did they add to the already largest city in Minecraft? Houses, some more houses, residential units, which is another word for houses, businesses, and a bunch of parks, this baseball field, some guy loaded chunks over here, and a life sized airport. Okay, first off, look at those skid marks. Nothing makes me cringe more than the word skid mark, but those look amazingly realistic. And look at the brown mottled grass mutated by jet fuel and chemicals. That is the best, most real looking repository for industrial and flammable chemicals that I have ever seen. They have the tarmac and they don't just have planes, but in different orientations, requiring a totally different design for each direction. And that's not all folks, they've got the terminals, the full gigantic airport building thingy, all with full interiors. You heard that right, a fully explorable airport inside and out. And over here to the west, we have hundreds of houses. How many houses? I don't know. I, uh, I think I'm gonna count them. Okay, so the grand total for the houses, not stores, shops, apartments, just houses, was 4,571. But here's the thing, I know what it takes to build one of these things. Just one takes a considerable amount of time, and I was counting thousands. It really hit me just how titanic and insane this effort was. How do they do it? Are they copy pasting house designs and modifying each one a little bit? They gotta be cutting corners somehow. Well, as it turns out, no, they actually aren't. The entire design of the city comes down to a single phrase, careful planning. The admins take to Google Maps, much like we do, but with a different intention. Instead of emulating, they take inspiration and find out why cities are constructed the way that they are. They take those inherently non-fictional designs and then generate plans that hold true to the spirit of their observations of the real world to make the most realistic fictional city 
possible. Property plots in Greenfield are taken on by individual builders, with all house styles being completely original. Technically, that's actually better than in real life. They copy and paste the house design constantly in real life, very often right next to each other. And as staggering as the magnitude of the authenticity and further implications of what's being done here might be, it goes even deeper. They're building a sewer system. A f***ing sewer system. A fully legit, realistic city sewer system that extends to all parts of the map. That's right, dozens of hours, maybe more, who knows, on a system of city sewers in a game where they're not necessary and that will never actually affect Greenfield's visibility. Most players that view Greenfield or play it in-game will never discover or see this system yet it's there. That might tip you off in terms of how much the creators believe in adding value to the city's realism. So what we can expect with today's Greenfield update is, if you've ever lived next to an airport, those airplanes flying 30 meters over your house every two minutes? Yeah, basically that. Remember in SimCity when your residential buildings were constantly empty because they were right next to an airport? Or Godzilla? The layout of this actually reminds me of SimTown. I remember playing that on the school computers back in 1997. But that's not all that the new residents of Greenfield get to look forward to. There's this huge phallic-shaped area near the coastline of neat little shops. Parks and woods are becoming more ornate, complex, and creative. Stadiums, sports fields, civic centers, government buildings, construction sites, highways, and belchy, smoky industrial sites. Also, since Greenfield has been building for over 10 years now, and every building having an interior, there's a ton of Easter eggs, an unfathomable amount. I hear whispers of a bomb shelter, scary stuff in the sewers, and God knows what else. You could spend years exploring this map, and you probably couldn't find it all. If you find anything interesting, let us know in the comments below. So Greenfield just doubled in size, and that made me perk up a bit in terms of being excited for this map. And in the last episode, we mentioned how the community's ultimate goal is to fill out this general area. Just eyeballing it, I would say the city is only 20 to 30% done. What can we expect Greenfield to look like in the future? Well, even more epic than it already is, if you can even believe it. But the clues are in the elevation. The team has already terraformed the remaining terrain, which involves mountainous terrain. What would they build there? We can imagine museums and observatories, secret military bases, water tower, and super rich neighborhoods with mansions and a beautiful city ocean coastal view. These people will be so loaded. Everyone else in Greenfield will take their kids there for Halloween trick-or-treating. People will eventually board up their windows, claiming to be on vacation. Hopefully kids don't egg their house or steal their cars. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. Does this map seem like Grand Theft Auto to anyone else? I'm still waiting for the Greenfield strip club. So 20 to 30% complete. Given that they've been working for almost 13 years, that's a scary time span when considering their completion goal. It could take 30 years to complete Greenfield. But most of humanity in the first world have crippling technology addictions, usually in the form of social media scrolling. The pattern breaker to that poison is to get up and do things, or just do other more wholesome things on your devices, like building things in Minecraft. The reason I love this city so much is it represents the will to commit your time to one epic, never-ending thing. Something so vast that no one person can complete it themselves which invokes faith in cooperation with others to complete something bigger than any individual person's effort, to create the most titanic city in Minecraft to ever exist. Our life achievements stand upon the shoulders of a thousand of our daily efforts, but the culmination of our life accomplishments boil down to a few points of focus. These builders understand that which is why they're working to make one of the most unbelievable things we've seen in Minecraft to date. You only get one life. Are you gonna stand on the sidelines or are you gonna make epic sh with the rest of us? If you wanna join Greenfield, their Discord link is in the description. A huge thanks to our top tier patrons, Almighty Svet, Ekalese, Ji Yang, CocoPinkus98, Megan Lecky, Pappy, Pixie Gum, The Demon Slayer, Trevor Zinn, and Walker Army. I wake up every morning, I think about you guys, and then my urinary tract infection goes away.